cette destination de Brest desservira les gares de Saint-Brieuc, Cargan, Poiret-Trégor, Morlaix et Landerneau. Le départ est imminent, prenez garde à la fermeture automatique des portes. Hip hop and jazz are large. They're small. They're small. They're words that have just a few letters in them, mm -hmm. but they they cover so much territory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So a kind of hip hop and a kind of jazz to me are you can't. They're inseparable. Sure. They have separate traditions, and that's not to deny or compromise either art form. Mm. But they come from a common source. Right. In, I don't even think they necessarily have separate traditions. I mean, mm. they might have started like at a you know, hip hop started much later than jazz, questionably. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people, I've heard KRS oh. compare, you know, Cab Calloway and him the way no he joke. would MC. No joke. You know, in the call and response. I was listening to some, sitting down with a friend of mine, a Zulu Nation dude, YG, you might know. We were listening to some Don Redman, who's a classic clarinetist and arranger, saxophonist mm -hmm. with um, mm -hmm. Louis Armstrong's you okay. know, group. Mm -hmm. Credited with innovating a whole style of, of you know, arranging for horns. Mm -hmm. And he's rhyming, he's spitting yeah, yeah. bars yeah, over yeah, a tune yeah. called Shaking the African. I mean, his livery, delivery, the cadence, mm -hmm. something that any MC could recognize mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. So much of jazz is about uh, collectively improvising. So if you're not connected up as a band, that really shows. And I try and get that kind of connection. So we're not worried about the sound. We're not really thinking about our instruments too much. We're just actually making music. Seeking to hit a particular height or a level of connection that is, is quite rare. To then it becoming something real that then has the power to affect an audience. That's something really quite magical and I feel really privileged every time it goes well to be a part of that tradition and to be part of that power. It seems that we're in a unique age in which musicians have surrendered the power of their art to transform the universe, man. I mean, now we're being told in boardrooms and focus groups, you've got to create something that the public want, that the audience want to hear, just give the people what they want. Napoléon est quelqu'un qui s'intéresse au jazz et qui connaît beaucoup de choses en fait dans le jazz. Et euh, le jazz comme le hip-hop sont des musiques qui intègrent euh, d'autres éléments. Et euh, ce qui est important, c'est quand même sa connaissance 
de, du jazz. Je peux jouer avec lui et il peut jouer avec moi parce qu'on n'a pas une idée prédéfinie de ce que doit jouer l'autre. C'est-à-dire, il amène, euh, encore une fois, ses connaissances, son fonctionnement. On fait un pot commun, on touille. You know, the difference between being uh, a popular artist or a pop star, per se, and being a really important or truly legendary artist beyond pop standards, the difference is that someone that's a legendary artist and that is beyond any kind of fame, any kind of pop success, these people are the, the kind of artists that I want to be, these people that I look up to, they are giving you equipment for life. They're giving you inspiration that can carry you. It's like sort of survival gear for life that takes you beyond the daily struggles, something to get you through when it seems like, man, I can't, I just can't get away from the bottle. I can't get away from the needle. I can't get away from the pipe. I can't get away from the street corner or I just can't make it through my daily nine to five job punching the clock. I just can't do it anymore. Then when you go home or you sit in your car, you put on your headset, your cask, and you say, ah, everything is better again. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, yeah, the way that Nina sang it, you know, the way that Coltrane played it, the way that Bob Marley played and sang it, you know, just gets you through, gets you over, you know, and that's, that's music on, a, on another level. Yield to yourself, but don't kill for the wealth. He's talking about duality, and like I said before, that's one reality. I freestyle for 20 minutes and then my brain gets tired, so I guess I have to finish. Cool. Yo, freestyle king right there. Beatbox beast, you don't know.